Sir, it's a momentous day in the history of our parliament. It was a historic day that this house, which witnessed our freedom struggle, witnessed India's strife with destiny, witnessed the creation of the Indian Constitution, and is now witnessing as we are bidding adieu to this great house, sir. As members of parliament, we have dedicated ourselves to serving our beloved nation. Over the past seven decades, as the Honorable Prime Minister has noted, more than 8,500 members have tirelessly served our mother India within these hallowed halls. It's worth noting that many of these dedicated individuals hail from Andhra Pradesh as well. On this solemn occasion, I wish to pay my heartfelt respects and express my profound gratitude to each of them for their unwavering service. Sir, I'm here to serve my second term, extending my services to the people of my constituency, state, and country. It would be remiss of me not to mention a towering figure in Indian politics, the great Gandhian, the legendary freedom fighter, Professor Acharya N.G. Ranga. He served as a member of the Central Legislative Assembly from 1930 onwards, and as a member of the Indian Parliament since independence until 1991. Professor Ranga achieved the remarkable feat of 60 years of service in this House, starting with the Constituent Legislative Assembly in 1930, and 50 years as a parliamentarian, parliamentarian earning him a place in the Guinness Book of World Records. Many of you have seen his statue at building gate number four of this Parliament House. Sir, Professor Ranga was an inspiration to generations of politicians, including my own grandfather, Sri Paturi Rajgopal Naidu, a freedom fighter and two-time member of Parliament during the 6th and 7th Lok Sabha. Another great leader from the state of Andhra Pradesh that I should mention here is Sri GMC Baliyogi, who served as a speaker for the 11th and 12th Lok Sabha and who was elected unanimously and served with distinction. I take this opportunity to pay my humble tributes to them and to all the other leaders from erstwhile and current state of Andhra Pradesh. Sir, I feel seven decades journey in the history of any nation is too short a period. But in this short period, we have shown the world what we are capable of. We have proved to the world, particularly the British, who wished India to become a failed state that Bharat is second to none in every respect. We have proved and demonstrated to the world the recent example being the G20 summit, that India's civilization, culture, philosophy, and more than anything else, the concept, concept of Vasudeva Kutumbakam cannot be destroyed. We could achieve these in spite of being home to almost every single religion in the world, and also to a vast array of diverse cultures, languages, syncretic heritage with rich history of democracy and nonviolence. Sir, today's occasion is not to score brownie points, Today's occasion, I feel, is to remember our achievements, successes, experiences, and where we have faltered, and address them through the current discussion. It is also our duty to express what lessons that we have learned from our past mistakes and give inputs for making this country great again. Sir, as Modi ji rightly says, that every government, every PM contributed towards the growth, progress, and development of the country. The degree of pace, commitment, and resolve might be different, but everyone contributed whatever they could for the sake of the country. So on this historic occasion, I remember all those great leaders, and I pay tributes on behalf of my Telugu Desam party and my, on my own behalf. But I would also like to highlight that it was during this period that the bifurcation of Andhra Pradesh was enacted. Sir, this parliament, as the Honorable Prime Minister said in the morning, is a sacred institution, and whatever promise it makes will be sacrosanct. But the commitments made in the AP Reorganization Act and on this floor are yet to be fulfilled, sir. Even the special category status, which was promised on the floor of this House, has not been implemented till date. I only pray that these sacred promises are implemented without any further delay. Sir, the new capital of Andhra Pradesh is in doldrums. Nobody knows what is the capital of Andhra Pradesh today. The farmers of Amarauti, who have been given more than 33,000 acres of land, are on a dharna for nearly four years. I wish and pray that Amarauti will remain as the sole capital of AP and that government in, of India should intervene and do the needful in this regard. Sir, from 2014, under the leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, there have been many initiatives that have been introduced aimed at making India Atma Nirbar and positioning it as a global power. Of the many achievements over the past nine years, I would rate financial inclusion through Jandan Yojana as the most successful achievement which helped inclusive growth and reduced corruption, which otherwise, as per Sri Rajiv Gandhi, only 15 paisa used to reach the beneficiaries. Yes, Jaydev Gullaji. Sir, just give me a few more minutes. Right there. there are some very important points I want to make. 
The second is Ujwala Yojana, which helped 10 crore no, women please. escape from the cooking with firewood, coal, dung, cakes, etc. Instead of using safe, clean, and environment-friendly LPG. So I'll, I'll skip to the end, sir. Sir, my party, the Telugu Desam Party, has played a pivotal role in this country's politics and growth. Both Sri NTR and Sri Chandrababu Naidu played key roles in molding and shaping both the National Front and the United Front governments. So you may recall that when Sri Vajpayee returned to power in 1999, after having lost the no-confidence motion, the TDP with 29 MPs in the Lok Sabha was the strongest partner of the NDA. And during that government, many key reforms, such as banking sector reforms, telecommunication reforms, aviation reforms, the Golden Quadrilateral Project, the National Highway Development Project, and the promotion of information technology, which saw the establishment of technology parks and IT zones, all these reforms and projects were envisioned by Sri Chandababu Naidu Garu and implemented by the central government, playing a key role in shaping India's economic growth. Sir, Dr. Kalam was also made president with the support of TDP and Sri Chandrababu Naidu Garu. Yes. Even in the recent past, the suggestions provided by him during the COVID pandemic helped our country to effectively fight it and come out resilient and stronger. And today we see that an unblemished, seasoned leader being arrested with political incarceration. It is a black day to democracy and the history of AP, sir. I wish to bring to the notice of the Honorable Prime Minister and the Honorable Home Minister how law is blatantly Jai violated, Jai cleverly twisted, Jai and maliciously Jai to Jai achieve Jai political Jai vendetta to by arresting Sri Chandrababu. Sir, two minutes, I've finished, sir. No, no, no. The main allegation, the main allegation in the case that 10% share of the state government, which comes to about 371 crores, for the purpose of skill development, had been released to the project implementation companies and was swindled to shell companies. But the CID has been unable to establish that the money were entrusted to CBN or his family members. Sir, if 371 crore is siphoned, how 34 sir, technical developments? One second, one second, Mr. Sir, sir, let me, let me you just conclude, conclude because this uh, is this is last day of the see this is the last day in this, uh, this parliament. Please conclude. This is, important important this is the most important, important issue. Without having any controversial issue, sir, the most important issue. For the spirit of today, discussion is not in not such a manner. Just conclude with the sentence, please. One yeah. second, sir. All I wish to submit is that this kind of political vendetta, misuse of enforcement and, sir, agencies, rubbish, and political incarceration should be stopped please. in every state. And I appeal to the Honorable Prime Minister and Home Minister sir, you, you to please, direct you the can, You can respond to it. To you can respond to it. Thank you, sir.